All right, so let me switch on back my Apache and MySQL because I need to use the, uh, I need to copy data from here. So I need to be able to click and things should happen here. So we already have the users table. Now let's go to the products table and create it. So I'm going to go to the structure. That's all I should care about. So let me look at the structure here and then uh, create that. Now, um, okay, so with this in mind, let me open my SQLite browser and then open my database again, the same database from my project. All right, so there we go, there we go, PHP. No, nope, wrong folder, www app db there we go open okay so here what i need is create table so this table is products okay very good let's add a field called id it's an integer auto increment and uh primary key okay what else do we add so we have i'm just going to add all these and then check them later what they contain so barcode description quantity I'll save that so we have barcode oopsie what have I done okay barcode uh, sorry I've lost description quantity description QTY and what do we get? Amount image user ID. So there we go. Amount. So we're trying as much as possible to match the other ones. Image. And then user ID. Wait, can this not be fuller screen? Oh, it can. There we go. So no need to suffer. User ID. There we go. And what else? We have date and views. So let's add one more. Date. Let's add one more. Views. Okay, so of course the date will be text in this case because we don't really have a date uh, option. Views will be an integer. We'll leave that there. User ID. Uh, yes, this one is integer because if we look at the data that is in here, is user ID yeah it's really an integer so let's keep that in mind let's go back to structure so user ID integer image of course is text because that's a now when it comes to amounts you want to keep a wait what number here I think it's real number either numeric or real I'm not really sure here but I think I use real number because real number I think supports decimals and stuff. But anyway, try both. Yeah, try real or try numeric, but I think real is the one. Real numbers have decimals. Uh, description, of course, that is text. Barcode, that's text because some barcodes have letters. The ID is integer and that's it. So with this, we are done. Yes. Okay, we don't we need nothing else. Here's the create statement in case you need it. And let's say okay. Great. Now that we have that, we can add one more table called sales table. Let's go to the structure. So we have ID barcode receipt number. So let's create a new table. This one is sales. ID of course. Um, I saw receipt number here, right? Barcode receipt number description. Okay. So, barcode receipt number description. And what else? Quantity amount total, the usual suspects. So, Quantity, let's enlarge this a bit. Amount, total. We also have a user underscore ID 
and do we have a date yes we do have a date and date so date text user id integer total room number amount uh room number quantity integer description text receipt number text barcode text the id is an integer blob i never really use blob in databases never recommended but it depends on your project so okay there we go so now we have products and we have sales and what we really need is the data from our products table so what i can do is i can export this data export and click go now you can export as something else uh, maybe not sql but something else but we want sql in this instance so i'll drag this into here and this is what we have for products so i'm just going to copy this as i did previously so let me go to my index page let me remove the comments and run a different query this time so i'm just going to put it between the co inverted commas here for the query and paste save great now all i need to do let me close this to make sure that it has saved this data uh, save goody 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 and now i'm going to go to my point of sale and just run it once so run Alrighty then, so it's saying integrity constraint violation, 19, unique constraint failed, product ID, huh, right, why? So, ID, ah, right, 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 I think the problem here is that we have, um, we have a missing number here maybe, one, should have been two because it's auto increment. I, I don't know what the hassle it is all about, but it's, it's running an error here. So let's try and open it and see what's going on, how much it actually added. This is a hassle to open this, uh, open this DB every time. So I guess while, while you're still setting this up, you can have your DB much closer than this. So I'm going to go to my products table, browse data, and this is it. So one, two, three, four, five. It seems to have actually loaded the information that's required, but for some reason it's complaining about the IDs not being in order. Or maybe it's this one, user ID. Oh, maybe that's the one where there's unknown instead of an ID. So let's just change this value to one and apply everything else seems fine because there are six items here which is exactly what we have here very good okay the sales table we don't need to add any records there because um, they can be added later so good let me remove that make sure and let me save this yes good and let's close this and try to run it again. So back, everything is in order. And let me make sure that my Apache and my SQL are not running. Just to be sure that we are running from SQLite, email.com, and password, and enter. And as you can see, the products are all here very nice if i click on one of these everything works as intended and now if i try to check out yeah let's see amount paid 190. uh somebody asked me if they don't want to have this checkout thing well just go to your javascript and disable it right just uh change your javascript to go directly into sending the information so what you do is whatever button it is whatever function it is that is run by this next button should be the one that is activated when you click checkout so you're going to skip this whole thing directly so it will be like you get the 
uh, the event that happens when you click next and put it on the event of the checkout. That way, when I click here, it goes directly to the checkout, right? That way you can skip that dialog box altogether. Okay, so this is what happened and boom. Okay, great. Now that we have that, let's go to the admin section and check if we have any sales. Oopsie. Okay, so general error, near and syntax error. Okay, so this is a PDO exception, so it's finding a hard time in reading data. Why? Let's check it out. So the only way we can check this out is, uh, let me open this though, before we go to the SQLite thing. Let me just make sure that the products table is showing proper information and then password. Okay, so I'll go to the admin area and go to products. Make sure you don't go to sales because that will crash things. Okay, so, so far this is fine and everything is working. It's just the sales table that isn't working well. So let's troubleshoot that real quick. This video is already too long. Okay, now let's go down here. There we go. Uh, there we go. Ba -bon, ba -bon, ba -bon, ba -bon, ba -bon. Let's see what trouble we got into here. So this is the sales, no, products table. Select the sales table and it added only one. Now, this is a problem. ID is empty, why? This is not cool. Okay, everything else was added just fine, but this is no, why? Let's look at the table structure again. ID integer, okay. Let me come back here. Oh, sorry about this. I have stopped my server. So my server is back. Let me look at the sales table once again. What does it have? What's the structure? Okay, so this is the usual auto increment, blah, blah, blah. Did I add auto increment here, by the way? in the cells structure. I think I may not have done that. I think that's the problem I did here. So let's uh, do this. Okay, so this is integer. Oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I don't know how to come back from this. Schema, uh, great. Now I can't come back. Right, let's look at the view. Uh, what is this one? Schema. Oh my God. You know, I haven't spent much time on uh, DB schema. No. No. I haven't spent much time on this uh, SQLite. So when you have time, uh, go through it. Anyway, here you can see when I hover on products, there's primary key down here and auto increment. So let's see if we have the same thing here. We don't have that. So this is the problem that I have here. Uh, we have users, we have primary key and yeah. So that's the reason why. So instead of all that, what I'm going to do is modify table. What table are we modifying? The sales table. So what I want to do is add auto increment here and product key. Very good. So with that in mind, let's go to the browse data and we can, okay, so there's a one there, which is nice. Okay, so with that in mind, we are done, really. Uh, let me stop my server here and let's try this now. So if I now go to cells, it should show me, ooh, it did not show me. What is going on? Okay, I may have closed that too early. What I need to do is just delete the information from there. Sorry about that. Open database. Oh boy, we are back to this. Come on, come on. Okay, let's go to cells and I want to delete all the data, browse data. Uh, select the cells table, yes. And how do I even delete the record here? Hmm. Execute an SQL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say delete 
from uh, cells. Just like that, without a where clause. This is going to make sure that, uh... oh, wait, how do I run this SQL? Come on, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, there we go, there's a play button there, okay. Result successful, okay, good. Let's browse data, it's empty, okay, very nice. So let me close that and let me save. So we delete it from the sales table. Wait a minute, what is going on? Do you want to save the changes made to... Yes. Okay, good. So back again. Let's try this one last time. We need to log in, unfortunately. Alrighty then, let's go to the admin. Let's go to sales. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, there's something weird going on here. So it's not the data. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. Mm. So it's saying the SQL has a problem near the and. So I'm guessing um, SQLite doesn't like this and. It wants the actual and as text. So this is what I'm getting from this. Okay, so let's try and uh, resolve this error. Yeah, 